Hello everyone, my name is Hunter and welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Let's see, I said I was gonna make do one of those. Was it this one? Oh yeah, it was. Oh god, it's ecological only. Hold on, hold on, hold on before I commit to this. <laughs> Was there only one other ecological? Oh, that was another one. That was this one? So this video is a recording before Thursday because um, Thursday I'm having uh, a little bit of more work than I like. I want. Um, I get a delivery of ice cream to the freezer at work, but I also kind of have to go to the a different garage that is my boss's son's like ice cream garage and at the moment he is homesick and his freezer worker is homesick me and my boss and a co-worker that also knows how to do freezer work are gone on a meeting. So guess who has to do check delivery and then fix some things and then also have to then drive off to the other garage to fix there. Yes, me. So I don't know how much energy I'll have tomorrow. But I wanted to have a video prepared and ready for you all. But yeah, hope everyone has had a good week so far. And if you haven't, I'm sorry, but I hope it gets better for you. I was going to trim up this fucking part a bit. Oh, 
I just had to check if it was the holy place I have to cut, so it's not like the park that goes like, oh no, you're on, you're on the wrong place. Well, good luck getting them over in back here, so... Sounds kind of like the laser guns from um, Star Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's clear this up. There we go. And another back part of a house. Might have bitten off a bit more than I can chew here. It can never be easy, can it? No. Also, does any of you guys watch um, Colin Furs on YouTube? He's a guy in uh, England that creates amazing fucking things. Like I said that right away. His latest project is fucking insane. Wait, I can't get. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, basically, like. A few years ago, he made a bunker in his garden. That has a tunnel to it. He has since then. Literally. Um, built a like secret hidden tunnel from his like cabinet room in his house, kitchen cabinet that is, or storage. I don't actually don't know what the fucking English word for that is. But anyway, uh, he then oh fuck, <laughs> he made a hidden tunnel from his workshop that is outside his house to into his house and he's also connected it to that bunker he made and now the bastard goes and has gone and gone like yeah I'm gonna make a like a car park spot for my DeLorean I have that is gonna like lower and go up and down on his in a driveway, so like when he parks, he can sink the ground in to uh, like hide the DeLorean. That man is fucking insane. If you haven't seen it, I, I do recommend his videos, they're fun. He's a bit of a crazy man. So I do, but I do recommend his videos. I mean, the guy has a lot of more fucking followers than I do, of course. But I mean, like his his work is fucking awesome. 
And then apparently he like set a, I think he set a record once because he made uh, the fastest um, one of those like elder mobile vehicle things that like elderly or people with um, a handicap, of course, um, can like use. Ah, sorry. <coughs> and um, he made it go like he uh, literally added an engine to it and like set a record in making the fastest working mobility scooter thing. This it was insane. He also made uh, like stuff with Top Gear, making like a car that had uh, flamethrowers, guns, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, he's really fucking fun to watch. And then, of course, like what I watched recently a lot. Uh, the per Perkins build the brothers. Watching those guys build stuff makes me just wish I had had more interest of it when I was uh, like younger, gone into like construction. But It's gonna take 40 minutes to do this. I'm pretty fucking sure it's gonna take me fucking years. And only because I'm so picky with the going around with the trim. reason I do this is because it's the ones that make, like, it feels the most sensible to do. Because if I don't do this, then, um, like, the lawnmower will smack on these things, or I'll get smacked into something else, or my lawnmower will fly off. Some bullshit will happen, I know it. some fucking reason. There we go. Fuck. Uh, there's no one fuck something up if I don't do this. You know what, I'll actually do this. I'll speed... Ah, well, I, I can't really speed myself up more because the game doesn't allow me to. But I'll speed up this part a little bit and I'll trim the fix and everything around this one, this one, that one, that one, that one, and then up, all the way up again and then down. And when it comes back to speed again, I'll jump up on the mower. So, let's fucking go.
Okay, there we go. should do this smart which is never really good for me but we'll do it like this What's the percentage? 99.50. Oh, it's actually kinder than most of them. Oh shit! Shit! But yeah, I also started to rewatch a lot of um, Black Tail Studio on YouTube uh, with uh, his name is Cam, if I remember, a guy that does um, epoxy uh, like wood tables and stuff. I have to say he's. Videos are rather fucking calm to watch if you're feeling really tired or have a headache. And also he's rather fucking hilarious in some of the, th the shit he does. What more have I been watching actually? I mean, like I'm f del like steadily following the um, um, the theory, game theory, style theory, food theory, movie theory channel just to see uh, like the last few videos that Matt Pat is gonna be like the active role of it. As I said before, he, he's not really, he's, as I said, he's not like quitting quitting, he's pulling, like going back to the, to be more like the background guy that still is the main core of the com company, I think it's, it's fucking his, I'm pretty sure. But like, it's not gonna be him on the main videos anymore. It's gonna be some of it, the people that has popped up here and there on his videos. I mean, like, why the fuck not? As long as they have his sense of humor, I'm happy. Also, I never realized that um, another channel I've followed for a while now um, called uh, Joe Cat a uh, guy that does a lot of D&D and um, stuff like that uh, he had like I, I know that I, I think at least it was like that he got his biggest like group of followers from his uh, a crap guy to um, Monster Hunter World and the crap guide to D and D, his crap guide to um, how to play a class in Final Fantasy uh, XIV that he had pulled back for like an unspecific amount of time. He's probably not returning for a long ass time, sadly, <laughs> because of. Uh, like a video made it, like there was a good hit with his fans and other people just started to see it more and more and then started to give him death threats and that went against his like family and everything is like fucking hell 
I mean, like, say shit about me. I don't fucking care. I know I suck. But going against, like, someone's, like, friends and family. Nah. I mean, like, for fuck's sake, we're adults. I mean, most of us are. I hope. I think. I kind of hope that there's. I my channel has not suddenly been tagged like kind of like how um, <coughs> Jack Septic Guy's channel for a long ass time. Everyone like it was for some reason marked as like a child friendly channel, and I mean he curses more than I do, and he plays some games that are not really child friendly. There's a lot of like horror games and uh, like stuff that kids at a specific age should not see until at least un like until they learn that like what you see in this video like in the videos are not real it's games which is still one of the best fucking advice my dad ever fucking gave me. Yeah, I've told about that before. That uh, when I was really, really young, I got my first own computer and I wanted to have a game to play. My dad had Tomb Raider 1 and 2 and 3, I think. The old ones. And uh, he had Delta Force, a Star Trek game. I can't remember, it was an FPS game though. And he also had Commandos, and Commandos was a game that I got was allowed to like have on my, onto my computer. And the first thing my dad literally said as he ins helped me install it back in the day was, "Whatever you see in this game is not real. If you ever start thinking it's real, you will never play a game again in this house." I was like, "Okay." And since then, I've like that stuck with me for like ever. I know that. What I see in a game is not real. I mean, like, this is a simulator, so it's as real as it can be. But, like, monsters from, like, Amnesia doesn't exist. The animatronics from Final Fantasy Freddy's doesn't exist. Doesn't stop my fucking brain at times, though, from getting... Thinking that I see shit from the games, but... Eh. I might actually be. I, I say now that I might be able to get this done in the 40 minute mark that the, the game said. But I'm not so sure. It's gone rather fucking smoothly though. I mean, like, yeah, sure, I killed like, what was it, like, three, four flowers during the speed up. But who is counting nowadays? I mean... I think I've murdered more flowers than in this game than I've ever done IRL. And not like I try to do it in real life. I mean like I... I've had... Bonsais, I've had... I think about... Five aloe vera plants, and somehow the fuckers keeps dying on me. And I mean, like, it's not like I water them too much. I like that I just did an extra side cut. What the hell am I doing? It's like I try to water them, <coughs> water them what is needed, and so for some some reason I, I either dry them out so they die, or I fucking drown them. There's no middle ground f when it comes to the flowers for me. Right now I've had a aloe vera and a um, plant I got from my grandma uh, for uh, about three years, four years. <coughs> and they're still alive, surprisingly. But, uh, yeah, but back to um, 
uh, YouTubers and everything. Like, like in the case of like Joe Cat, <coughs> like hate whatever the hell you want, but why be verbally abusive to so towards someone and then threaten and etc. against their family? I mean, like you're not really a better person for if you feel if they feel like it, like when they go like, ah, oh, I'm told this person off. <laughs> it just means it shows that you're a cunt. I thought I just shrugged like as if you can see me. I re I should really get a webcam. Hear people's, oh, hear people's. Yes, I'll hear people with a webcam. <laughs> see people's reaction in videos, uh, like <coughs> in videos. Fuck me, I can't speak. See, read people's reactions to my videos and seeing how fucking stupid I look when I play games. Like right now, my back is kind of busted from work, so I'm sitting l more lean forward than I should. I know that, but it eases my back pain. I've taken painkillers, so I can say that right away. <coughs> and uh, it's like just trying to keep a pose that doesn't make me flinch. But yeah, I I do hope Joe Cat returns because his videos were fun. I mean, like I found his videos when he did the crap guy to um, no, to uh, Monster Hunter, which were f fucking hilarious. It's literally him in a jokingly mocking way explaining to you how why you play a, a class in the game wrong and how you should do it and he does it in a, such a funny fucking way if no one has ever seen Joe Cat a crap guide to any of his crap guides really watch them they are so fucking funny And uh, let's see what more have I been watching recently. I mean, like other than the normal stuff, I saw Jack Guys Puppets Playtime, a game, another game I'll never probably fucking play because holy shit, the jump scares. And then we have uh, Markiplier and his um, VR playing of. Um, the uh, Final Freddy's uh, Help Wanted Part 2? Or just 2? I can't recall if it's the part or just 2. Which I saw that uh, the game theorist made a theory about, which actually kind of explained a bit about the games. I do hope, wa hope one day that um, Scott. Uh, I, I don't know if it's Chawthon or Cawthon. I can never remember how you say his last name. He just comes out and says like, okay, this is the truth about this game and the whole truth and everything in this game. This is the story. This is everything. And then just proves one MatPat correct a lot about a lot of things. And then um, shows um, like how the world went from a game that was literally his last attempt to ever make a game seeing as he had previously gotten criticism for his animation of characters in his older games looked too much like animatronics and he took that and made FNAF that it became such a big universe that like 
people started to get like the kind of theories like oh what is this about what what does this mean and then the whole um, hidden like stuff in the games um, beating the game one of the games in one way you get to see um, uh, like not the legendary bite of 87 like uh, Markiplier thought but like you get to literally see like things connect dots more and more in like the plot that Scott created for the game and then um, Oh shit, sorry. Um, him just like explain the law himself, the man that created it. Just like come out and say, like, yes, FNAF is in this timeline story going from this game to this game to this game to this book to this book to this game to this game, etc., 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 etc. And like, what happened? Like, if like the what kids were in the animatronics was it all uh, the purple guy or William Afton's f like doing and so on and so on like why did William do it or the purple guy as he's known as like stuff like that I just really hope that it, Scott just comes out in one day and just goes this is it I also imagine that, like, literally, your last attempt to make a game, to be a game developer, and you make a game series that spun off many fucking more games. Now it's also a movie, which is, I, I want to see that movie. But, um,. Like you have that, it became books, it became um, webtoon comics from people. There was one guy that actually did a really good comic on deviant art of um, like the first FNAF. It ends sadly though with not in the same way that uh, the game does, but. The art was really good. Story was really good. Such a fucking thing to create. Holy shit. Talking about that, I wonder what Notch is doing nowadays. The guy that made uh, Minecraft. I mean, like, he sold it for like more money than one person can spend pretty much unless you're a shopaholic but uh, like Minecraft bec that became such a big ass fucking thing as well I mean like I got into Minecraft from uh, the Yogs cast watching uh, Shadows of Ifs Raphael and then uh, just kept hanging with whatever the Yogs cast made and enjoying like their banter, their funs, everything they did. I still do. I mean, like it's not the same as it was back in the day, of course, mostly because um, uh, Simon and Lewis, that are the core, like the basically. The Founders of Yogg's cast aren't doing like videos together that much, other than like on the charity streams or such like that. I mean, like it, it they've been doing it for years, so of course, like eventually, like maybe the fun of it all might die out. I don't know. 
I know that many people would actually like to see those two do um, not a specific. Oh shit! Did I get stuck. I don't know it. Not sp like I, I wouldn't like to say like I want to see the end of Shadow Shadows of Israfel because I know they had issues with some of the workers that were with them back then. And I can understand that like nowadays they don't have time because they're running a company. Yes, seeing, getting to look, yes, know what the end was planned to be for Shadows of Israel would be fun. But I would, I would want to see them do like their, um, what was that called, Trucking Tuesday. They were fun. Or them doing. Um, Oh god, what were those maps called on Minecraft? Diversity? When they have to like do challenges to get pieces of wool. The only thing they have to do when they do those is like make sure that they like that Lewis or Simon can't do the slash set creative mode or whatever the fuck so they can cheat. But it would be fun to see. Oh yeah. Uh, what more have I been watching? More and more. Of course, um, camping with Steve, which just makes me just want to pack my bag and take my tent and just head off but sadly can't do that because reality but yeah um, what more what more I think that actually is pretty much what I've been watching So, sorry for that weird cut there. Uh, my a co-worker so then he texted me and said, "Are you awake?" And I was like, "Oh shit, what's happened now?" Like, I would love, literally, like, um, yes, buy a, sell, like, my apartment, sell most of my shit, get a good laptop, and, and I mean, like, good, so I can literally still do gaming and stuff, because it's what I do like to do, but yes, like, Buy a um, like remade van thing thing car or like a um, so like basically like uh, make a car that you can live in basically like a like a van not a van um, RV but not an RV. Like, I would love living like that in some ways. I know I would go eventually bored off it because, like, one, the fuel prices, fuck. <coughs> Two, also, like, there's not too m I don't think we have too many spaces here in Sweden where you can actually just park one of those. Yeah. 
also if you remove that I had to sit still for a little bit and check what the fuck a co my coworker wanted I've literally been going for the oh shit I'm always worried that, that when I move my headphones a little bit like scratch my head or something that I'll when if you s I move the wheel that ups the volume on my headset that it will pop up in the recordings so far it hasn't but I'm still fucking worried that it will one day I mean like I'm not hiding anything it's literally right now it sh it shows literally like my son going up and then it shows that uh, like what I've been listening to and right now it's showing um, from Blacktail Studio with uh, making tables as I said because he's relaxing to what listen to Uh, but um, yeah we've been going for 40 minutes so luckily enough the speeding part speed up part will make so this video is not as long because I have noticed that even though people enjoy these seem to enjoy watching me do the lawn mowing too long videos is not too fun if, seeing as I like every now and then I don't talk too much I just sit here in my silence and ponder for myself while I'm playing a game. I'm trying to be better with it because I, I do want to have I want to make entertainment for people. The worst thing is that like when I come up with jokes is usually when I'm not sitting playing games and recording I literally come up with weird shit like instantly. But when I play games I go like eh. Eh. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my fucking god, can I stop fucking yawning? Oh well... Also, I thought this w cutting was gonna feel like a drag, but it's actually been rather fucking nice. It's a good map, good map. They need to add more fucking ecological mowers though, that are better. No, I won't leave, I wanna make sure this is clean. There we go. Oop, missed. Yeah. They need to make more mowers for this game. Well, let's see what the fucking penalty is for this. Uh, leap. There we go. I still made a f win in that one. Lost a bit with that one. Lost a lot with that one. Advertising campaign updates. Print magazine ongoing. 105 RP. Okay. I made 8.7 thousand shade. And they return from the holiday. Do, what do we have for next time? Uh, not much. Mm. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's do our daily routine. Either as a daily routine. I'm pretty sure, like I, I would, s I could do, but I'm. Do right. Did I fix this one? Yes, I did. Like what I'm doing right now, I could literally just not do for a while and then just take it all when I feel like it. But it's a kind of nice like end routine to like fix these. Also, how's the HQ coming? Four days more. Okay. But yes, that will be all for this time, people. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as well. Remember, leave a thumbs up and a subscription, hit that bell I said in the last video, because apparently it does magic. And, well, I'll see you in the next video.
Bye-bye.